a contest. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. In the dictionary, Grammy winners, Punjab, Literary Pets, Inventors, and inventions, and trading places. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. The titled beast of his, the Hound of the Baskervilles, is actually the pet of Mr. Jack Stapleton. Okay, player one. Player one, back to you. Harry Potter uses his snowy owl named this to transfer messages. It's player two. Yep. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we continue. 1992, Tears in Heaven. Let's hear it, player one. Right. <laughs> player one, where do we start? Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings' The Yearling centers on this type of pet. Player three? No, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. That's it. Select again. Little Swan, Little Bear, and Greenfinch are some of the goats of this Johanna Spiri lass. Player one? Yep. <laughs> Player one, back to you. A poetic Elliot feline who has lived many lives in succession is named for this fifth book of the Old Testament. It's player one. No. Any other takers? Okay, player two. Yeah, good. <laughs> player two, you start. Nineteen sixty six, Strangers in the Night. Player one. Ooh, that's incorrect. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player three. 
Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player two. That's right. Way to go. Player two, you pick again, please. 2010, need you now. Player two. Yep. <laughs> Player two, you pick again, please. 1973, Killing Me Softly with His Song. Okay, player one. Oh. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player two. Oh. Anyone else? It's player three. Oh. You got it. You're out of the hole. Player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. 1978, just the way you are. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. You're out of the hole. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Make a selection. Jimmy? Near two major rivers, this Missouri city was founded as a fur trading post by Pierre Leclerc in 1763. Yes, player two. Yes. <laughs> player two, start us. Appropriately, the word volcano comes from the name of this Roman god. It's player one. Good. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control of the board. It's a seven-letter synonym for majorette, from what she does with her baton. Let's hear it, player two. Yep. <laughs> Player two, you start. This enclosed glass container is used to keep plants and small animals, such as turtles and lizards. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one, you start. Here's Sarah from our Clue Crew with the clue. In the pronunciation for the word circus, the U is an unstressed vowel and is marked with what looks like an inverted E, called this. Player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player two. You got it. <laughs> Player two, you start us off. The name of this horse breed tells us that it originated in the Perche area of France. Let's hear it, Player one. No. Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player two. Oh. No, Anyone else? Let's hear it, player three. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> player three, you start. Since 1947, the historic region of Punjab has been divided between these two countries. Okay, player one. Oh. No, that's not right. 
Anyone else? It's player two. Good for you. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control of the board. In 1879, James A. Ritty invented this machine, and retailers have been ringing up sales ever since. It's player one. All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control of the board. Martha Coston invented the Coston This, a device for signaling at sea in the 1850s. Okay, player two. Good for you. <laughs> player two, start us. This city's Grand Bazaar was built in 1461 by Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror. It's player one. That is correct. On the plus side again. Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the... In 1938, chemist Roy Plunkett invented polytetrafluoroethylene, a non-stick substance better known as this. Okay, player one. Good. Please pick again, player one. Walter Deemer with the Fleer Company invented the first commercially successful type of this chewing gum in 1928. It's player one. Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. In 1798, this cotton gin inventor began using a system of interchangeable parts to make muskets for the U.S. government. Okay, player two. You got it. <laughs> player two, you start. Located on this continent, the Kanembornu Empire lasted a thousand years by being a center of trade. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player one? You got it. <laughs> player one, start us. Frankfurt's Rossmarkt was a site for this type of animal trading, also a term for hard bargaining. Let's hear it, player two. Aww. Any other takers? Yes, player one? Right. Yeah! We return to you, player one. And yeah! the Daily Double. You are currently in second place. How much are you going to wager, player one? Here is your daily double clip. From its founding in 1898 until 1919, this exchange was known as the Chicago Butter and Egg Board. Now oh, good. <laughs> Player one, choose again.
As part of his easternmost conquests, this Greek's armies occupied the Punjab around 327 BC. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. <laughs> player one, pick again. In the 1840s, this European power fought two costly wars over the Punjab before annexing the region outright. Okay, player one. That's not it. Oh, Any other no. takers? Player two. That's correct. <laughs> Player two, you start. In this Kipling work, the title orphan's father was a sergeant in an Irish regiment in the Punjab. Yes, player one? <laughs> nope. Oh. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player two. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player three? Yep. <laughs> Here's the $1,000 clue for you. Predominant in the Punjab, this religion has origins in both Hinduism and Islam. Okay, player one? Correct. <laughs> Player three is in third place. We'll select first in the double jeopardy round, as we always do, right after this break. Now it's time for Point It Out with the Clue Crew. We'll show you some pictures with each Clue Crew member of the celebrations pictured here the one happening in New Orleans. Everybody ready? Let's go! Okay, hey, great job! And the minigame champ award goes to the player who won the minigame, player one. This prize is now usable from the prize menu. Clues are worth $400 to $2,000 in these categories. The meaning of the prefix. Adventures in the air. A in geography. Arctic animals. What I really want to do is direct. And opera names. Where do we begin, player three? This ancient city is the capital of Greece. Yes, player one? Right you are. <laughs> Player one, where do we start? And here's Jimmy. It's the name of the island seen here, mate. Let's hear it, Player one. Right. Yeah. Mont Blanc is the highest peak in these mountains. It's player one. Whoa! Please pick again, player one. And one of the daily doubles. And you're in the lead now. You need to select your wager. Here 
is your daily double clue. Kabul is its capital. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Please pick again, player one. Known to the Romans as Numidia, it borders the Mediterranean. Player one? Yeah. Please pick again, player one. This large bee of the genus Bombus can range from Tierra del Fuego in South America to far beyond the Arctic Circle. Yes, player two. Oh. Any other takers? Player one? Yeah. Right you are. Yeah! Player one, choose again. Let's get Sarah's assistance on this clue. Polar bears are well equipped for Arctic weather. Not only do they have thick fur and a layer of insulating fat, but their skin is this color, which helps it absorb the sun's rays. Player one? Oh. Anyone else? Player two. Good for you. <laughs> Player two, start us. Alaska pipelines were constructed so as to allow this Arctic deer unimpeded passage to feeding grounds. It's player two. Oh. Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Yes, player one. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player three? Right. <laughs> Where do we begin, player three? He designed titles for silent films before he made us scream over birds and psychos. Okay, player one? Correct. <laughs> A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Years before directing Batman and Robin, he had been a costume designer for Woody Allen, who encouraged him to direct. Okay, player one. That is correct. Please pick again, player Player one. This dancer and choreographer turned director for the Broadway musical Redhead, which starred Gwen Verdon. Okay, player two. Oh. Sorry. Anyone else? Yes, player one. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it, player three. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this, player three. You make the next selection as we... This playwright gave Jessica Lange a big role when he directed the film Far North. Maybe he was a fool for love. Let's hear it, player two. Right. 
All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control of the board. No slouch as an artist himself, Julian Schnabel directed the 1996 film about this Haitian-American graffiti artist. It's player one. No. Any other takers? Let's hear it, player two. Good. <laughs> Select again. Greenland right whales have the longest of these thin plates of any whale. They may reach 13 feet. Player one? Yes. <laughs> Player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. As fall turns to winter, the Arctic this, A. lagopus, produces less pigment and changes from brown to white. Player one? Oh. That's incorrect. Anyone else? Ah! Yes, player two. Good for you. <laughs> player two, you start us off. In 1909, Louis Blériot became the first person to fly in a plane over this, between Great Britain and France. Player one? Yeah. <laughs> Player one, start us. Hemi. Yes, player one. <laughs> Any other takers? Let's hear it, player two. Sorry. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player three. That is correct. <laughs> Player three, you start. Die, as in dicephalus. Okay, player one. That is correct. Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next selection as we continue. Contra. It's player one. Good. Player one, you pick again, please. Anti. Okay, player one. Good for you. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Circum. Player one. That yeah. is correct. We return to you, player one. The title figure of this Puccini opera is Chocho-san. Yes, player two. No. Aww. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player one? Right. 
You again, player one. This title temptress of an 1875 opera works in a cigarette factory. Let's hear it, player two. Yep. <laughs> player two, you start. Tannhauser and Lohengrin are knights. This title character of another Wagner opera is a pure fool. Player one? Oh. Nope. Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. That's yeah. correct. You get to pick again, player two. Answer. <laughs> the other daily double. You're in second place, so what is your wager going to be? Player two, please select your wager. And Gilda, the daughter of this hunchback, falls in love with the licentious Duke of Mantua, with dire consequences. Here's what we were looking for. Rigoletto. Player two. Pick again. Amniris, daughter of Pharaoh, has an Ethiopian slave girl. Her. Player two. No, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player one. Yes. Yeah! Player one, you start. Hitting a speed of about 800 miles per hour, Chuck Yeager broke this barrier in October of 1947. Player two. That's correct. <laughs> Player two, you're in command of the board. In 1907, Paul Cornu became the first man to fly freely in one of these horizontally rotored aircraft. Okay, player one. Yeah. Player one, you start us off. August 1983 saw the first night launch of this reusable U.S. orbital vehicle. Player two. <laughs> right, good. Back on the plus side. And we'll wrap up the board with this clue. Taking 16 hours in 1919, British aviators Alcock and Brown became the first to cross this large body of water nonstop. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> you all move on to Final Jeopardy, which will continue after these messages. Now it's time for Correct Order. The player who places the elements in the correct order in the least amount of time wins. Put these Rock and Roll Hall of Famers in order by year of birth, from earliest to most recent.
You've been crowned the mini game champ. Player two, you've unlocked a prize. Here comes the final Jeopardy players. The category is this. 19th century inventions. So what's your wager? The final Jeopardy clue is, one description of it said, its spokes look like cobwebs. They're after the fashion of those on the newest bicycles. Let's see your response. And that correct response will add. Did you come up with the correct response? And that will set you back. And your response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? Yeah. One, congratulations to you. Good game, everyone, and thank you so much for playing.